So today we'll be learning like how to solve fractional knapsack problems. So, so I have just written the definition right here. So in theoretical computer science, the continuous knapsack problem, also known as the fractional knapsack problem, is an algorithmic problem in combinatorial optimization in which the goal is to fill the container with fractional amounts of different materials chosen to maximize the value of the selected materials. So this is just the bookish definition. So let me explain in my words. Like in fractional knapsack, they will be given some weight, the value. So we can now here choose the like fractional weight also, which was not possible in zero one knapsack. So let me like explain everything you by the help of an example. So first I will write here item. So we can see that the item number, the weight, and its corresponding value is given. So now you need to calculate the density. So density is something we need to calculate. So density. So density is equals to. This is the formula. Value by weight. So, and for this question, the maximum. Like the capacity of the next knapsack is that is WVF that is given as 16. So now we'll find the density for it. So 6 upon 6 is 1. So 2 upon 10 is like 2 upon 10 that will be equals to 0.2. Now similarly 1 upon 3. So I'll just write the value directly 3 3. This will be 1.6. And this will be 3.0, 1.66. So now since we have calculated the density for each of the items, so again, so now we need to sort the items according to their density. So I'll just write, so now we'll just sort the items according to the density. So the we'll sort in descending order. So we'll see the maximum like density is for item number 5. So we'll write. 5 we will write its corresponding weight and value and its density that is 3 now next is 6 so 6 is what 1.66 so it is 3 5 1.66 next we have 4 so 4 here will be 5 8 1.6 next we have 1 this will be 6 6 and this will be 1 this will be 3 this will be 3 1 this will be 0.33 now next we have 2 that is 10 2 this will be 0.2 so now we have like sorted and arranged our table so the next step is now we find the knapsack so now we'll just fill out this knapsack table so this is the final answer for it so knapsack so this is a required table so we'll just like put all the items so we'll check is weight that is the, for that item plus the total weight uh, that must be less than this that this maximum capacity so let me explain what I am meaning like if I will write 5 here suppose 5 the first item fifth item its weight is 1 its value is 3 and its total weight will be like 0 plus 1 and because initially there was nothing so 0 plus 1 is 1 we will add the benefit so because what we see that 1 is less than equals to 16 so we will just take the whole item so we will just take the whole item so now we will add L uh, item 6 so 6 we will put it right here so 6 weight is 3, its value is 5, now the total weight becomes 4. So let us see, like 1 plus 4 that is equals to 16, yes it is true, so we will take the whole item. So its profit was like 8, because we will add, this will be like cumulative and this benefit will also be cumulative, like 3 plus 5 that is 8, so this was only 3. So next item we need to add 4. So 4, its weight is 5, its value is 8. Now let us see. This is 5. 
so 5 plus I'm sorry this will be like 3 so this will be 4 and this will be 5 plus total weight 5 plus total weight 4 that is less than equals to 16 yes so 9 and it is true so we'll take the whole item so it was 8 plus 8 that is equals to 16 now we'll take item number 1 so its weight is 6 its value is also 6 now let us see the total weight for it so 9 plus 6 that is less than equals to 16 because 15 is less than equals to 16 so we'll take the whole item so this will be what 15 and this will be 16 plus 6 that is equals to 22 now the last item now the next item we have is 3 so its value is weight item is 3 its weight is 3 and its value is 1 now we will see that what 15 plus 3 is not less than equals to 16 so we will not take the whole item so for now we will take a fraction so here comes the density so we will multiply this by its weight the required weight so required weight is 1 so 0.33 multiplied by 1 is 0.33 so its total weight will be 16 because only 1 kilo was or 1 unit was left so and we will add 22 plus 0.33 so this will be 23.33 so this will be our benefit so this will be our knapsack benefit when our maximum capacity for knapsack is 16 so this is how you solve fractional knapsack problems so thanks for watching it